Well, many people may have put off getting a costume to wait and see if Hurricane Sandy would interrupt holiday plans. But there's good news for those of you trying to put something together last minute. You can still create an impressive look just by going into your makeup bag. And joining us this morning is the owner of Studio B Salon, Christy Beeman, to show us more. Good morning. Hi, good morning. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween to Thank you. you. You're, you're telling me that we don't have to go out and buy any special makeup? Not at all. You can go right into your makeup bag at home, and there's definitely products that you have that you can create a few, a few looks, just like we did with our models today. Everything that we used is right here on this table. So wow. just a few products to create these looks. So nice Sim and easy. Yes simple and easy. Let's start out with this cute kitten here. You're already excited. So this is Emma and Emma is a little kitten today and we only used two products on her. We used a white eyeshadow mm -hmm. and we used a black eyeliner. So really wow. simple. So all we did was we took a white shimmery eyeshadow, we dampened it with a sponge mm -hmm. and then we just applied it to her eye area and right above her lip. And wow, then you look great. We took a black liner and just created the black lines around her eyes, her little whiskers, and around her lips. So nice and easy. And uh, those are two things that I'm sure every woman Everybody has. Everybody has white bag. eyeshadow or light colored eyeshadow and black liner. Super easy. Beautiful. Let's move on All now right. to a very popular look. I'm going to step behind yeah. you here. This is like Day of the Dead. Everyone's yes. going for the zombie look. This is all over Instagram and Pinterest. This is definitely one of the most popular Halloween makeup looks that we've seen so far this year. Mm -hmm. So again, really simple. All we used on Kelly is a white shimmery eyeshadow a purple eyeshadow around her eye area, and then a black liner to create the lace-like effect around her eye, a little spider web on her forehead, coloring in the nose, and then right across the lip. We like to do the lines just to make it look like more skeletal. So definitely, it, You didn't need a stencil for any no, of this. No, not at all. And you can freehand it. And when you're using the um, eye pencil, it's really easy. It's, it's really soft. You can draw on it really easy. And you're just going to use a makeup brush just to kind of touch it up and fill in. And we actually created a tutorial for you guys, and it's going to be posted it online later so it'll be wow. step by step. Excellent. Let's move on now to our last look. Something for the guys out there because they, they want to get dressed up too. Yep. So um, with this look here, it's sort of like a psycho clown look, kind of very with the Joker. creepy. Yeah. So this look was super easy. Black liner and black eyeshadow, and that's all we used. Um, nice and simple oh. around the eye area, almost like. Um, a bigger diamond shape, mm -hmm. filled it in with the black liner and um, then powdered over with the black shadow because that'll help to keep it set so it doesn't smudge or smear if you go to scratch your eye. And then again with the lip, the black liner and then again touched it up with the black shadow. I like that it's just on the top just there. The top. Very, yeah, creepy, very creepy, very eerie. Thank you so much for You're coming welcome. in. You're welcome. So simple. So if you've waited till the last minute, you can uh, check out these ideas on our website, WPRI.com.